What's up, everybody? It is Murph Plays. I actually just changed my name to the Murph Nation, so I don't know why I just... I don't know why I said that, but... <laughs> but hey, guys. How are ya? So, uh, we're here in my little humble abode, my little studio. Uh, and I just wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about everything that's been going on lately and uh, where we're going to be moving forward. <clears throat> so... Some of you might have been around ever since this channel started up, but I began my channel in November of 2013, so my channel actually just turned seven years old a month ago, and that is... <laughs> that, that, that's so crazy. Um, but, you know, my main source of content was Let's Plays, because I was really inspired by a bunch of Let's Players on YouTube, like Shady Penguin and Lukagin. But then, you know, I came to college, and I got myself a capture card to record console footage, and then I started getting into doing game reviews for certain games. So I was really inspired by YouTubers like JonTron and Peanut Butter Gamer and Pro Jared. I had a very big normal boots kick <laughs> when I was in college, if you couldn't tell. Um, but... One of the biggest things that I always worry about is the concept of burnout. And I, I, I've been thinking about this a lot because as a music educator, uh, I, for my actual real life job, I'm a music teacher. And on one of my interviews, I was asked, what do you do if you start to feel as if you're getting burnt out from teaching? And... You know, that that question really stuck with me a lot. And, of course, you know, when you do start to get burnt out a little bit, you gotta find some way to make what you're doing more enjoyable for you. And because I was getting a little burnt out, <coughs> I decided to change up my channel. Um, for those of you that don't know, I actually, uh, I, I kind of took a bit of a hiatus. Because, you know, I was really focusing on college... And, uh, to, to put things into perspective, college, as great of an experience it was, um, I did have a lot of things that were happening to me in my personal life, um, so, you know, I, I really just did not feel that motivation to sit down and do YouTube videos. I tried, <laughs> I, I, uh, I definitely tried, if you could remember from when I did Huni Pop or Honey Pop, whatever the hell you want to say it. Uh, I tried doing some backyard baseball videos, I tried doing some pajama Sam videos, but, you know, every time that happened, um, I, I would take that first step, but then I wouldn't continue. And that, it, it, with anything that you do, that is the big thing that you need to keep on doing. Once you take that first step, you can't take two steps backwards, you have to keep on moving. Um, and I didn't do that in college. You know, I, I was, I, uh, for where I was, I'd say that I was doing pretty well. You know, I was getting uh, a few views on my videos. I wasn't getting, like, thousands upon thousands upon thousands of views. But for a channel with around 300 or so subscribers, I would say that I was doing pretty good. Like, I, uh, eh, I was doing okay. <laughs> um, but then, <laughs> 2020 happened. <laughs> uh, and as you know, we've been having to quarantine and maintain social distancing. And the school that I taught at at the time was teaching virtually. You know, I was doing asynchronous lessons, pre-recording every single video I was doing. And, you know, it kind of got me thinking. I was like, you know, I, I kind of miss doing YouTube videos. So I started back up. And... Uh, the first thing I did to kind of bring me back into the YouTube scene, I use that term loosely, <laughs> was I did a review of Fire Emblem Three Houses, which had just come out a few months prior that July. Um, and, you know, I maintained that. Uh, I maintained that review kind of mantra. Uh, I believe I did two other reviews. I'm checking, <laughs> I'm checking out my YouTube channel right now, but... Did, wait, did I actually take those videos down? Uh, but yeah, I, di I did a review of Fire Emblem Three Houses, uh, Honey Pop, and Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga. 
and I did a review of my favorite game of all time, Persona 5 The Royal. But then, you know, a, a buddy, a, a really good friend of mine was talking to me, and, you know, he was telling me, you know, I, I need to try and find my niche, and, you know, when you're a YouTuber and a Twitch streamer or whatever, that's exactly what you gotta do, <laughs> you know, you need to find that thing that really clicks for you, and I took a pretty big leap, all things considered, I, I took a pretty big leap, and I decided to change my channel to purely music education through video game music, two things that I'm incredibly passionate about, and I did a video on one of my favorite songs from Persona 5 Royal, uh, Gentle Madman, and that is to this day, one of my most popular videos on this channel. And I am, I, I got so ecstatic about that. Um, when I, when I, uh, when I saw it kind of blow up, it only has seven and a half thousand views, but to me, that was blowing up, man. That, I, I am still so proud of that video. It, it even has its flaws. It's not a perfect video, but the fact that it has the amount of views that it did, just, oh my God, that makes my heart sore. But, you know, I really continued on with that mantra or idea of analyzing a song from a video game. So I did uh, the uh, the Neo Team Plasma battle theme from Pokemon, to, uh, Pokemon Black 2 and White 2. I analyzed the Moon theme from DuckTales, the Edge of Dawn from Fire Emblem Three Houses. Even a friend, uh, my friend Smith and I, we sat down and we literally analyzed... Uh, <laughs> every Pokemon champion theme and we ranked each one from our favorite to our least favorite um, but then um, but then I started talking about things like musical cadences in video games and acapella and opera representation um, so as you could tell I had a lot of inspiration from youtubers like Adam Neely uh, Sean Crowder 8-bit music theory my inspirations to keep maintaining this channel the way it does was constantly changing and that's not a bad thing but I began working on a new video for the channel that I wanted to get out this month and no matter how hard I worked on that script it just didn't sound right it, it, it didn't feel right it didn't seem interesting to me and you know if it's not interesting to me the creator it's definitely not going to be interesting to the audience um so i i began to think about my youtube channel and where we are and i i think i am getting a little burnt out from doing just music education based videos too um so what i think we're going to do i still want to maintain doing the music education videos because they're still really fun for me to talk about, and I get to play some of my favorite games and talk about some of my favorite pieces. Uh, but I am actually going to be going back a little bit to my roots. I am going to be doing some gameplay videos. Um, and the thing that I really want to bring to the channel is challenge runs of video games. I'm currently working on one at the moment. And uh, <laughs> it... I don't know how long it's going to be, but I'm currently on 28 pages of notes for this one run. I, I uh, That's just like a rough draft, though. I still have to go back and narrow everything down. But it, it might be a long video. It might be a long video. Not not too sure what to expect. Um, but I do plan on doing some challenge runs for the channel to kind of, you know, keep things diverse. Because I, I know just from my personality that if I continue to stick with doing just one thing I'm eventually going to get like really antsy and I'm gonna to want to do something else but that's not to say that I'm just going to be doing challenge videos and uh, because something else that I've been doing is I've been streaming over on twitch.tv uh, I do have a twitch channel I actually just hit a hundred followers on there so I'm really excited about that um, but I'm thinking, you know, maybe I'll do some highlight videos. Uh, I'll put them on YouTube. Uh, and actually, one of my bands from college is going to be getting back together. And we're going to be recording some music. Uh, it's not Skin Parade. <laughs> if you uh, 
if you saw <laughs> our clip playing in our opera video. Um, but it's, uh, yeah, we're getting back together and we're going to be recording some covers to try and, like, make them a little bit more interesting. I'm not going to spoil what song we're working on right now, but it it's a lot of fun. I actually just finished recording my track, uh, I think this, like, a week ago today. <laughs> um, but yeah, you know, I'm looking forward to really diversifying the channel and breaking down my thoughts for everything that we did for this upcoming song that we're recording and for future songs that we record. Um, but, you know, because of everything that's going on, uh, everybody that's in the band is relatively busy. So I can't guarantee when the song will go up on YouTube, but we'll see what happens. But one of the biggest things that I did decide to do in 2020 was make goals for myself. Um, you know, I, uh, setting a goal for myself is really what kind of motivated me to continue making YouTube videos and continue to stream. You know, um, oh, uh, actually, <laughs> over the summer, I actually, uh, I've always been very insecure about my weight. If you watch me on Twitch, then you know that I've spoken about it very openly before. But, um, I actually lost 20 pounds over the summer. But ever since I got my new job... I really just haven't had the time to do it, but I made that goal for myself that I wanted to get down to a certain weight, and it happened. I stayed motivated. So I decided, why not do the same thing for YouTube and streaming? And that that's exactly what I did. Uh, and because of that, my goal for Twitch was just initially to get to 50 followers by the end of the year. And I just, I know I just said it before, but, um, I, I just recently hit, uh, hundred followers. I'm at 110 right now. I am more than double what my initial goal was. And that to me was just crazy. I, I honestly could not believe that when I saw it and I, I'm still kind of in awe about it. You know, I, I honestly just cannot believe it. But my other goal was to hit 500 subscribers on YouTube. Now, there's only three days left in 2020. Um, we haven't hit the goal just yet, but I'm looking at my YouTube channel right now on the 28th, and we are at 495. That just baffles me, dude. I literally stopped doing YouTube in college, and I honestly thought that I would not be able to climb out of the hole that I dug myself in from, uh, from just, you know, being lazy and unmotivated, but I'm gonna go to the YouTube analytics right now, because I, I wanna see just how many, uh, subscribers or, and members of the community that we've gained since I started back up. So I, <laughs> I can't seem to find my dog's barking now. I can't seem to find the uh, actual analytics, but we, as a community, have grown. We we gained a hundred plus subscribers from March, just because I set a goal for myself and I began to get even more motivated with this channel. I I really want to be as motivated as I was with this channel as it was back in 2013 because you know th this is a really enjoyable hobby for me and I'm enjoying it <laughs> so much um but that kind of begs the question where do I want to see myself a ye in a year from today uh so I uh to assess my goals I was really thinking about it um you know, we we reached a hundred. We got a hundred plus subs within about a year. But I think we can shoot higher than that. Uh, now, my first goal was to reach six hundred, which I definitely think that we'll be able to do as long as I can keep on coming up with some interesting content for you guys. But my next goal actually would be seven hundred and fifty subs. But the ultimate goal, if we can reach this goal by the end of 2021, I think I can die happily. I'd love to see us get to 1,000 subs. 
I would love that. Um, but, you know, of course, we won't be able to do that without uh, you guys, and it's because of everybody here that we're where we are. And I, I really just, I cannot thank you all enough for everything that you guys have done and for taking time out of your day to watch my videos and comment. I've gotten so many comments on my newest music videos that it, it really just makes my heart soar. And I love it. Um, but yeah, you know, with that, we're gonna call it a video. Uh, if you guys did enjoy the video and you want to see more of my videos, be sure to hit the like button down below as it helps with the YouTube algorithm. Comment on some things that you'd like to see challenge run-wise. I'd love to hear your guys' input. I'm not going to spoil the videos that I have in mind right now, but you'll see them when they come up eventually. Um, and of course, hit that subscribe button and hit the bell to be notified as to whenever I upload new videos. I do actually have a Discord server as well. Uh, I started one up a little while ago and, you know, a bunch of members of my Twitch community have been hanging out and we've been getting into some really cool discussions. If you do want to come join me on Twitch as well, my link will be in the description as well. And I stream every Monday, Tuesday, Friday, and Saturday at 7 o'clock. I currently do Smash Free For Alls every Friday night, uh, Mario Kart with viewers on Saturday night, and then I do whatever game I'm playing through at the moment. Um, Currently, I'm taking a break from a challenge run of Persona 5, and I'm currently playing through Final Fantasy 7, the OG from the PlayStation 1. Uh, but yeah, Monday, Tuesday, Friday, Saturday, 7 o'clock. Uh, definitely come hang out. All the links will be down below in the description. Guys, thank you again so much for an incredible year, and I hope that we can just continue making progress into 2021. Thanks so much.